I popped back over to Glasgow briefly just to check out the shops for what was available at Christmas stuff and uh, well I had a haul of these little sets of 20 LED lights. One of them sets and I was wondering who was going to win the you know warm white battle first was it going to be Poundland was going to get the warm white in or was it going to be Pound World their arch nemesis and it turned out, turned out to be a Pound World although it looks like standard cold white lights I noticed uh, on the very end of it was printed uh, you either had ice white or warm white printed on the end of the packaging. So, um, yep, these are warm white and a very rich warm white as well. They're very nice. So, uh, Pound World wins that one. However, we've also got these ones from Pound World in the same style of packaging. It's this, uh, this fairly standard oval packaging. So, we've got a set from Pound World. We've got a set from Tiger, which are quite unusual. I was kind of, you know, knocked off by the fact it's got the red uh, flex. I, I thought maybe it was going to be red LEDs. I'm not sure why it's red, but it does show in the packaging. It shows the colour. These are from Asda, which is uh, now owned by Walmart. It's a, It was a sort of farmer's commune type thing originally over here in the UK, but um, is now owned by Walmart. And these are from a generic pound shop, uh, you know, just a, a non- branded, non-big chain ones. So pretty much the generic dollar store. So let's uh, try them out. I'm going to leave the, the, the auto exposure on just to uh, deal with this because uh, otherwise I'd be turning the light on and off and to be honest these tend to swamp it out a little bit. So um, the first set, these are the Pound World ones and it's very clear that they've used the blue chips and the green, the yellow and the red are blue with a phosphor on it. And the big advantage of that is that the voltage, the forward voltage of all the LEDs is going to be very much closely matched. Because if these were standard gallium arsenide LEDs, or the yellow is gallium arsenide type technology, and these, the green and blue were gallium nitride, then the voltages would really not be matched. You'd end up with the red and yellow ones being really bright, drawing a lot of current, and then as the voltage of the batteries went down, the only ones that would be lit would be the red and yellow, because they'd drag the voltage down below the level at which the green and blue could light. So um, the colour... It's quite unusual. The yellow is a very citrus yellow and it's quite bright. It's surprisingly bright. The green is a soft, coldish green. The red is a fairly, just a touch of pink to it, and the blue is pretty much typical blue. They're actually not too bad at all. So let's move on to the next set. The method of using the phosphorus to balance off the intensities and, and the, the uh, battery drain is actually quite a common one now. It seems to be used by a lot of people. So here's the Tiger ones. These mostly came in. These were from Asda were two pounds. I think these ones from Tiger were two pounds. These, of course, from the Pound World were pound, and these from the Dollar Store were a pound. So yep, um, fairly standard pricing. So let's uh, try the Tiger ones. Tiger is a sort of IKEA-ish type company. And what's unusual, they've gone the phosphor approach, but instead of going for the normal colours, I don't know, I'll pull, pull the light out and see what this shows. It's kind of showing it. Yeah, I'll stick the light on, it's not really helping that much. Oh, if I can find the light. What the colours they've chosen, they've not just gone the standard red, yellow, green, blue. They've got pinks, reds, greens and purples. And as far as I can see, they're all phosphor coated. So there's no uh, bare blue chip, so they're using just a standard base emitter chip to stimulate the phosphors, and it's quite an unusual colour combination. It's really quite neat, actually. So let's uh, move on to the next set of lights, which is going to be Asda's. I was looking at Asda's range of lights. They're fairly generic, not really super exciting in terms of, you know, novel features, but um, good enough. And they had these little sets, which is nice. Okay, so again, the blues look like they're the bare blue chip. The green, the yellow, and the red look like they're phosphored. But the yellow is interesting because it's a sort of it's got a what you might call a more warmer shade. It's just nudging slightly in the direction of orange. The green is the fairly typical sort of like phosphory green. It's um. It's like a pastel shade. The red's actually quite good. It's quite a deep red, but bright. And the blue is, of course, just the standard blue. So let's uh, try the last set. At the moment, uh, apart from Tiger's novelty aspect of the colour choice, the other ones are all 
holding up fairly well together. It'd be interesting doing a long term test and see when the battery voltage went down, what sort of um, intensity they kept if they were all pretty well matched, the LEDs. All it takes is one rogue LED having a slightly lower forward voltage and you end up with it being the only light on the set. This is unusual in the sense that it's the same arrangement again, is it? The greens may actually be green chips actually, and the blues. The red and yellow are both phosphor, but the yellow is quite a whitey yellow, it's quite attractive, and the red is a fairly soft, pastely red. These are also slightly domed, are the other ones domed in the same way? Not, uh, they just seem tapered at the tip, they just look slightly different. But um, yes, uh, so which is my favourite set? I'm not really sure. The Asda one is quite attractive because it's got that sort of warmer colour and the Tiger one, um, the both the expensive ones, the, the two pounds, I mean expensive, it's not that expensive. This one because of the novel's colours, but to be honest the others seem fine. It would be interesting to see how they, you know, how they fared with the battery going low because you might find the green tends to hog the current a bit, it just, uh, it just depends on the, the voltage uh, matching of the LEDs. And likewise, um, Oop, I'll just knock the camera and whack everything out of position. Yeah, um, I would say the powdered ones are also quite nice. I I'm not 100% sure. I think, to be honest, I'd choose the Asda ones. Out of these, this range, followed probably by the Tiger for the novelty. But um, yeah, they're, they're all pretty good. They're, they're all actually really well matched. A little addition to this video, I've had these lights on test for some time now and I've just been letting them gradually drain the batteries down. And things like the Asda lights, these are, you know, these started off with just nickel metal hydrides that didn't have much charge anyway, so they've gone down quite quickly, but they're all still glowing at very low level. However, another set I added, the BM Home Stores one, are displaying that trait that uh, I mentioned earlier on in the video, whereby they've used separate, they've used green chips versus the blue chips used for the blue and also the blue chip with phosphor used for the red and yellow. And because they've used the green chips, actual native green chips, they've actually got a slightly lower forward voltage and they've dragged the voltage on all the other LEDs down. So the only ones that are lit in this set now, and it was very quick, it drained the batteries down quite quick, are the green ones because um, they've continued to conduct quite heavily um, at the lower voltage and pull the voltage quickly down below the forward voltage required for all the other LEDs. So that's a bit of a shame that the BM Home Stores one are doing that. So at the moment, the winner, my favourite of all these, is still the Asda one because it's a nice, particularly nice shade of uh, the yellow. And uh, another uh, another good choice is the generic dollar store type one from uh, one of the sort of Asian pound shops uh, on Sucky Hall Street in Glasgow. That one came from the uh, Tiger ones are doing very well. They're they they're the ones with the unique colours, a sort of cyany green, turquoisey green, the purple, the pink, and the orangey red, and they're fading off nicely. And the uh, even at, after they've been running for quite a while, the uh, Pound World Warm White, and remember you have to look for, it says either Ice White or Warm White on the packaging, the Warm White are still doing very well and they are really close. If you saw them for a distance you'd think these were little tungsten lights, but they last for ages in the batteries. So um, yes, the only real loser in this uh, particular display is the BM Home Store's multicolour sets of 25. And uh, they're about £2.50 for 25 LEDs. And they haven't come off favourably because they used the greens like this and it's kind of hogged the, you know, it's pulled the voltage down. But um, other than that, you know, I do notice uh, in the, the mains powered strings through transformers that they're now actually starting to use the yellow phosphor and the red phosphor ones just so all the LEDs voltages are matched. And uh, it's very distinctive because some of them, the yellow, which is normally quite a dull colour for LED, because it's the phosphor version, is actually really intensely bright compared to the usual. So the colours are all well matched. So um, it's definitely an interesting direction for the LEDs to go.